What up guys, it's Kusi here and we got a Nerd Wi-Fi battle against Flint and this is my second upload to Pokemon Pay Beta so uh, make sure to check PMP Beta out and make sure to check me out if you're liking me if you're liking me um, whatever, let's get the battle started so I lead off with an Azelf and he leads off with a Murkrow and this is like a standard lead Azelf and um, I know the taunt's coming so I should go for the Fire Blast right away because I know it's going to do good damage because Fire Blast is powerful and Azelf's special attack is really good now he goes for the T-Wave here and I was pretty pissed because Azelf's whole purpose is to be fast and get up the rocks and I really want to get up the rocks against his team because Murkrow is a really big threat to my team so um he goes for the confused right here and I'm thinking please don't hit myself please don't hit myself please don't hit myself please and I smack myself right in the face and uh yeah that sucks so uh, my taunt wears off here and he goes for the roost so I'm thinking all right I don't know what I'm thinking right now but what I was thinking before is that I'm just going to go for the Fire Blast and get some damage off because that's what I want to do. I really should have set up the Salt Rocks there, but I guess I was predict predict blah blah, predicting another taunt. So I just went for the Fire Blast. Anyway, he switches out to Shandera, predicting the Fire Blast, and I just pull a switch and um, go to my Caesar here. Now, I'm thinking this Shandera Scarfs because most are Scarfed, but you really can't rely on that. So I go into my... He tried to take the obvious fire type attack, but he makes a great prediction. Goes for the HP ground. Um, and I'm, I'm a special kind of Heatran. I think I'm a sleep talking, like Lava Plume Roar Heatran. If this thing wasn't specs, which, yeah, I gave it away, that Shandera specs, I probably would have lived that because I am max HP. But um, it is a spec Shandera. But now I know that, so I can just go right into my Rotom and get off a T Wave or a Confuse Ray, and I go for the T Wave. Um, yeah, because I guess there's no ground types on his team because I looked at his team before. So I just go for the T-Wave. And I get a Notori Paralyzed, which kind of sucks because Gyro Ball is going to do more power. But um, it's not that much power because it's it's speed. If it's running like a minus speed nature, it's like a 60-something. So it'll be cut down to like a 30-something, which isn't that bad. So um, actually, it's pretty bad speed. But whatever. You guys get my point. Uh, he hits himself in Confusion here because I go for the Confuse Ray. And now I'm forced to switch out because I really can't touch him. And I go to my ace off here because I am faster and I just want to get off a fire blast. But he hits himself twice, which I I don't know if that mattered. I know I could have lived a gyro ball, but whatever. So um, I'm going to go for the fire blast here. But um, he goes to Shandera. And I'm actually playing with your minds right now because sorry for that noise. But I'm going for Stealth Rocks. So yeah, some of you guys might have been tricked by that. But uh, now I switch out my Maytag here because Maytag can take fire type attacks. But he goes for the Shadow Ball here, which was a good plan on his part because my voice just cracked. Now um, his Shadow Ball does a lot more than I thought it would. And I do have special defense investment in this thing, so I was surprised. Now I'm forced to go on my Caesar here because it's the only thing that can take another Shadow Ball. And it can take it relatively well, I guess. So, um... He goes for it. It does a little under half, which is still a lot of damage. But I'm thinking he's going to switch out, so I'll go for the Pursuit. And um, I live that Shadow Ball, but I go for the Pursuit here. And I don't think it's going to take him out because I do get Technician Boost, but I'm just kidding because I got a crit. So I fooled you guys twice. Now, um, I don't know how much that crit mattered. It definitely mattered. I mean, I don't think that would have killed him, but... I don't know how much matter in the long run is what I'm trying to say. He goes into his Furnit, but I want to save this because he has priority bullet punch with no stealth rocks up yet. So I just thought I can save this Caesar. He goes for the Flare Blitz. I go to my Azelf as Death Fodder basically because I, it's, it's done its job. It set up the rocks. I mean, there's nothing more I really want. So uh, Azelf goes down here, and he gets a lot of recoil from Flare Blitz, which is great because why it's always good. So um, I go in my Salamance and I get the Intimidate, which I really should have Moxie on this thing because it's a, it's a sweeper, but I don't know. I guess I just put Intimidate on it, not thinking. But uh, he goes out to Murkrow here and I'm thinking, shit, I don't want to get T-Waved. So I switch out and go in my Rotom. I don't know why I did that, but I switch out and go in my Rotom. And he just goes for the, the Taunt here. Okay, I'm sorry. I pull a double switch predicting the, the Murkrow to come in. My bad. And uh, he goes for the Taunt, and I go for the T-Bolt to finish it off. So that was actually a really good play on my part. 
and I always when I, I've watched this battle like three times already, and I always skip over that part because I get confused. But um, yeah, that was just a double switch. So uh, he goes into Natori here, and I really can't touch it, so I'm forced to switch out. I didn't want to risk the him not hitting himself if I go for the confuse ray. So I go into my Breloom here, and he gets para hexed, which sucks for him, but hex is hex. And um, I get my poison heal going, which is also great. And I'm predicting the stealth arc, so I just go for the substitute here. And uh, he gets para hex again, which sucks. I'm sorry, dude. But, um... Poison Heal is doing stuff, and I go for the Focus Punch here, and he just sets up his Stealth Rock, so I don't know how much that, that Parahax mattered again, but uh, whatever. I go for the Focus Punch here, and that's going to do a good chunk, because it's going to take it out. <laughs> that made no sense, because it's a fighting type attack, it's extremely overpowered, and it is a Breloom who's adamant. That's why it's going to take it out. Okay, so um, Notori's down, his piece, he's out of there. No more Notori. Great, 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 awesome. Um, he goes into Infernape here, and he's going to go for the U-turn because it's going to break my sub. But now I'm free to go for a Spore. Yep. So uh, he U-turns out of there, and I believe he goes into his Zapdos, which is a good counter for uh, Breloom. But uh, not if you pack Stone Edge, but I don't pack Stone Edge. I just pack like Dual Stab because Dual Stab is good and it hits hard. So um, I go for the Spore here, and uh, Zapdos is asleep, which is really good, because Zapdos is always hard for me to take down, especially those like Subroost, T-Wave, Thunder, no, Subroost, Toxic, Thunderbolt sets. Those are really hard to take down. But um, I don't know why I don't set up here. Maybe because I don't want him getting lefties if I set up a sub. But um, I go for the Focus Punch here, and that does a really good chunk, which leads me to believe he's specially defensive or that Subroost set. Now, um, I think I can take him out with one more. So I go right for it again because if I sub, then his lefties will be like... Then he'll get lefties recovery and I won't be able to take him out with one more, basically. So um, I go for the focus punch here and that's going to take it out. That might have been min-max damage, I'm not sure. But um, <clears throat> it's always good to have a Zapdos out of the way. Now, I know it's my game because I know that my Salmat's completely walls in Fernape. And his last is... um. Well, you'll find out soon. But uh, I go to my main tag here is Death Fodder because I don't want to switch in Salamence right into a close combat. So, um, main tag, you've done your job, so peace. Now, uh, he dies, which is fine, I guess. As I, is it lagging there? I don't know. But um, I go into my Salamence here because I know I can take any hit and I do have Intimidate. So, close combat won't be doing anything to me because he is Intimidated. So, yeah. He switches on, goes to his Kira Keys, and then I know his last two are both weak to ground type attacks. And I just go right for the Earthquake here because I, I know I can take a close combat. But what he should have done is just left in Infernape his fodder, gone for the close combat, and finished me up with a Sucker Punch with this dude. Even though I could have stalled him out of his Sucker Punches, but whatever. Um, now he brings his Infernape his last hope to win the battle. And uh, I know I can take a close combat, even though he's not intimidated. Because, I mean, Salamence has a decent HP stat so yeah I take it with 42 HP left over and um, I just go right in for the earthquake when you when this finishes so uh, great game Flint guys if you like this battle make sure to check me out make sure to check out the Pokemon beta because they're freaking awesome and uh, yeah comment rate sub peace